and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who is watching this video later on for some Mardu Butcher. That's right. We have a donation deck here that is, um, you know, this is a, a pretty janky deck, but it's going to be, it's going to be pretty sweet. What we're going to be trying to do here is we are trying to get Dreadhorde Butcher kills on turn three. That's right. It's possible if we can play our cards right. So that's what we're going to be trying to do, getting Dreadhorde Butcher kills right away. Um, you know, if we play Dreadhorde Butcher on turn two and attack them, make it a two, 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 then the next turn we can um, infuriate it, make it five power, hit him for five, um, and then it grows to be six, and then fling for addition for six more. I, I guess that's how we're supposed to do it. How let's see or no? How do do we just do? Is it just infuriate infuriate barge in? Maybe that's how. I know there's a way that we can kill on turn three. We probably need like our one drop. I guess we probably need to count that. Um, Hawkeye, are you doing okay, bud? Um, but yeah, so if we go, Ginger Brew can do three damage by turn three. And this does one, two, three, so that's six. Hmm, maybe we need, maybe we need turn four to actually kill people. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, maybe we need turn twelve. Yeah. So the Butcher getting through, growing it, flinging it. But yeah, so we got our, our Pump Spells. So anyway, back to our deck. Pump Spells, Infuriate, Barge In. Barge In's pretty cool here because it gives our creatures Trample. Um, so that's pretty awesome with, you know, giving Dreadhorde Butcher Trample, Knight of the Ebon Legion with Trample, because you can pump this up. And if, with Death Touch and Trample, that's a wonderful combination. Um, you know, Ginger Brute's going to just do some extra damage for us. Arcanist can just kind of recast all of our stuff, which is really cool. And Vindicator is already has double strike and trample, so all Vindicator needs is just some uh, Infuriates and Bargins and stuff like that. So our, our creatures are pretty vulnerable, though. So to protect our creatures, we got God's Willing to protect them from removal spells. But then also God's Willing can make them unblockable if they just have like a bunch of creatures that are the same color to block. Like, let's say they have a bunch of green creatures in play. We use God's Will and give our creature pro protection from green, and then it's unblockable. Sideboard, I really like, I like these two sideboard cards, these two new cards from Theros in our sideboard a lot. I think Phoenix of Ash seems pretty awesome in this deck. Uh, three beta, two, two flying haste. So, we, you know, get this down pretty early, and it that hits pretty hard, you know, a two, two haste that you can also pump. But then you can, whenever you escape this for four, if they kill it, you escape it for four, and now it comes back as a three, three. Uh, flying haste. I, I like this card quite a bit. I think it's a really good sideboard threat. And then Elspeth also. Elspeth works like all the like the first two minuses work, you know, against the control deck. You can play Elspeth and start going wide with like your making two one ones. Or also that minus one, you can pump up like a, a Vindicator and Butcher and stuff like that with the minus one. So it works pretty well here. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a try. So we'll see if how many wins we can pull off with the deck. We're going to try to, you know, see if we can get to five wins before two losses, whatever happens first. What's up, McCarty? Yeah, Theros so far has been really good. Yeah, we've only, we've played two decks so far. Um, this deck is, isn't really as Theros focused. This was a donation deck we got right before Theros. But it has some upgrades. So let's see how it does. Uh, no, I won't be playing sealed on stream. Just standard. I guess I have sealed tokens to, to use, to, so I should probably play sealed. Ooh, yeah, I bet Soul Sisters in Historic is pretty legit with the new Heliod. Just got to figure out ways to... <clears throat> that deck just has to figure out ways to beat sweepers. You know, how does that deck beat Esper Control? Waiting on your opponent. We have had um, today. This is the first day Theros is out. We've had connection issues. 
we haven't really so much, but a lot of people have. Um, I think there are just connection issues with just the servers um, kind of being overloaded with everybody excited to play the new set and everybody jumping on today. Yeah, the owl's pretty cute. Yeah, now when you open a card for the first time, it says first and also in your collection, they're your first things in your collection for you to see. So if you kind of miss it, if you kind of click too fast and you're like, oh, what was that card I just opened? If it was the first time you've opened that card, it's over there. Man, there's no black mana. I don't think we can keep this. All right, this is better. I'm going to put back the Dreadhorde Arcanist with us not having spells to play anyway. Yeah, I don't I don't remember it being this bad with Eldraine, but I also don't really remember for sure. You've been jamming a sweet pioneer deck that features Lotus Field, Blood Sun, Boros Reckoner, Iron Crag Feet, and Star of Extinction. That does sound like a sweet pioneer deck. You can have <clears throat> all of those in historic, except for don't have Boros Reckoner. You have to play red white and play True Fire Paladin. Temple of Plenty. Bluber, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Bluber. Thanks for that support. Sub number 22 on the day. MTG bots behind by one. A 1 3. I can't get through a 1 3. Oh, well, I, I guess I should have activated the Ginger Brute. I was thinking I was going to do Shock plus Vindicator. <clears throat> I don't have two red, though, so I was not going so I cannot do Shock plus Vindicator. Oh, there you go. Oh, hey, congratulations. Congratulations, Noctis Girl. Saving the date for the wedding. That is amazing. Okay, let's see. Can't block this. Could be tough. Yeah, congratulations. And yeah, we're on for another league. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty good.
I think we trade Dreadhorde Butcher for this Atessan Champion that's just going to keep on getting larger. And draw them more cards and everything like that. I think that's a fine trade. Yeah, the new cards are out. New cards are out. <clears throat> I could see this deck playing like an Ember Cleave. It's difficult to cast Ember Cleave. I wouldn't want too many, but I could see playing like one somewhere. Pretty cool deck here for the opponents. Gonna try to finish them off. Basically, Dreadhorde Butcher is just do one damage to them. Have to kill them this next turn because they're gonna gain a lot of life with their history of banalia. It's just easier to cast history banalia. Uh, yeah, the the teamer ramp um, deck really stood out. Like the dryad and Nyx born ancient, Nyx bloom ancient. Those cards were looked pretty crazy the the deck um was a little rough around the edges my sideboard was rough and stuff like that but um the things that that deck could do are seemed pretty ridiculous okay so we got the first one Let's see, they should probably be bringing in more spells. I don't know if that means we want more duresses. It's possible Dreadhorde Arcanist should just be Phoenix of Ash. I okay, guess so if we played that last game, we weren't act didn't actually have the double red though. Hmm. Let's get these lava coils in. I'll try just that. Basically adding in two lava coils, cutting an Arcanist and a Shock. Didn't seem like Shock had um, too many great targets. Oh, right. Should play Revoke Existence against the enchantment deck, right? This is what I'm a little worried about with Ginger Brute, if whether or not it'll be a large enough creature. <clears throat> I guess I need to shock in with Sacred Foundry so that we could play Dreadhorde Butcher if we would have drawn it. Misery Land. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub there, Misery Land. Thanks for, uh, thanks for resubbing. Yeah, there's also Shadow Spear. Could play Shadow Spear instead of... You know, there could be like one, one Shadow Spear in here too. Ok, 
Okay. Well, our mulligan just had one creature. We need to draw another one. And Godzilla SP. Y'all are bringing the hype today. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. Not sure if I really like fling here post board. All right, let's try this. Uh, with drill bit versus duress, I mean, in, drill bit's a better card if you're hitting them. But the thing is, is like, this deck probably wants to turn one duress a good amount of times because of, like the two drops of vindicator, arcanist. Dreadhorde Butcher, you know, so you kind of want to turn one duress and then be able to play those things to take removal spells and then play those things on turn two. And of course you can't turn one. You know, like drill bit's like good after you already hit. You kind of want to protect beforehand. Nessie and Wanderer. Every game there. Just help him hit those land drops. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, did I just have lethal if I didn't? So nine, eighteen. Hmm. I may have had lethal. Okay, well this is definitely lethal. All right, so we're going to God's willing this thing. Give it pro white. Sure. Target attacking creature. That's lethal right there. We'll make it more. I guess I I think I could have killed I could have just killed them last turn if I would have just done that. One, two, three. Yeah, I could have killed them the turn before. I missed that. So 
So that would have been turn four. So that should have been a turn four kill. I killed him on turn five instead. But I had lethal on turn four. So there we go. That's the, you know, God's willing and a bunch of pump, bunch of pump spells with Swift Blade Vindicator. So they play like they would have played a two mana one three and then a three mana removal spell and then I would have killed them on turn four before they got another turn, if I would have played that correctly. Yeah, so concept works. That's good. And that's, that's, you know, fighting through like a good turn two, turn three. Ooh. I'll still play the Butcher first. So that Vindicator is tempting. Just let that happen. I'll have God's willing protection. I guess if I would have cast Barge in that last turn, um. I would have dealt four damage, then that would be a three three, and then I'd still have. So they'd be at sixteen. <clears throat> How do we want to do this? So six, seven, all right. I just don't even have to show them God's willing. I've already seen the pump spells. I mean, it's still it's still lethal. Whether or not I God's willing, so just don't have to show them. All right, so we need to draw. Swiftblade Vindicator. Man, Swiftblade Vindicator killing people real fast. We take out Duress. Bring in Coil. Hmm.
Play like one Phoenix to get in the air. I know they have that 4 4 flyer, but like that's like their only thing in the air. Let's get a f couple Phoenixes. Over a couple flings. <laughs> For kingdom and glory. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, see, there you go, Snakes. Yeah, that's Yeah, the sealed events are... You know, it's it's a good learning experience. Also, you know, like with the brand new cards. And yeah, you still got your nine packs. <clears throat> Boo. Uh, I guess I should have shocked, I guess, because Mountain is what I really need to get rid of. That 4-4 four four is really good. Card's really good. The Fenlurker Legion's End combination. Fenlurker taking that, and then Legion's End taking everything. It's a pretty cool animation. I mean, Revoke Existence gets the 4-4, four, four, <clears throat> and that's kind of about it. And then I, I guess they could could have Erebos. I'm not really, I'm not worried about Erebos, though. Basically, it just gets the 4-4. Four, four. Gonna have like the rampage that can take out the four four and take out other stuff. And take out like a Yara.
All right, we need black mana. I'm not convinced about these flings yet. Okay, gives me a card to get rid of. Hmm. I was hoping they were going to block the Ginger Brute, to be honest. <clears throat> and then... Dreadhorde Butcher would be more safe, like with us having Lava Coil for their next creature. Annex, Cavalcade. Does the Annex make haste creatures or like it dies and it just makes like little one ones I guess can't get these butchers through <clears throat> All right. so really really good hand Ideal. Turn two, Fen Lurker. Turn three, Duress. My Lava Coil plus removal spell. And then a Yarid into Shepherd. Quite ideal. I could trade both of my cards for one of their creatures. Thanks, Portland Ranger. Thank you so much. I'll check that out, and thanks for the resub. I understand. So it's like I could attack in, they block, then I God's willing my creature to get, go pro black and then shock their blocker also.
Yeah, we need... <clears throat> yeah, we definitely need to find pump spells. For the butcher, for sure. we could use like one ember cleave like i was saying or a shadow spear i think we need one of like just one copy of those we need a little bit more pump than what we got I mean, I have to block both things. Can't attack. All I have to do is just draw a creature and I die. Yeah, we could sack the brute. I guess I was supposed to block first and then do that, but oh well. Yeah, I mean, I guess I was supposed to block first. But we weren't winning that. Yeah, we need we need a number cleave. Correct, corn lover. Yep, that's the that's the code for the set. Yep, play Theros. Yeah, Gary, yeah, Grey Merchant is very good. The card that's looked really bad in our deck so far, honestly, has been these Shocks. Shock has looked really bad. Like our opponents keep on playing X3s. And stuff, and Shock's not killing anything. Teferi has to go because Teferi shuts down Arcanist. Like you can't play like Arcanist trigger doesn't doesn't do anything with Teferi in play. I train and meditate and prepare. I know I'm playing into a Wrath because that's just what our deck does. Okay. Well, they had one. Because we're not... We don't, like, win a late game against... Against this kind of deck. So we just have to hope they don't have a Wrath and we can get a lot of damage in fast before they find one. Because obviously, like, they're going to have a Teferi that's going to slow us down and everything, too. I, know my responsibility. I think that's just the, the play. It's just to overextend and... That's like the only way we're getting in 17 points of damage. <clears throat> I 
All right, so Phoenix, Elspeth, Duress. Arcanist hasn't really looked very good either. Shock and Arcanist have been two poor cards. We need like more haste and double strike and stuff like that. Like this kind of slow. So do I want to take out Arcanist or Shock? Those are the cards I'm going to be taking out here. Which one do I want to take out? Maybe one Arcanist and two Shocks. Arcanist is better now with Duress. I'll take out the Shocks. Oh, yeah, I should probably, yeah, I could bring in a Rampage for an Arcanist. But yeah, I want to take out the Shocks. Yeah, sideboard, the sideboard of this deck is going to have to be pretty anti-control. Because the thing is, is just these, this all-in, you know, like, we're an, we're an all-in deck. And the all-in deck d rarely gets their verse control. And so you have to diversify with different threats and everything against control. Yeah, great. Yeah, we are in Grey Merchant metagame. Grey Merchant... Like we saw with that last deck with all the life gain with like a Yara, Grey Merchant, that kind of stuff, it does make being a cheese amount deck like this more difficult. Yeah, this deck could play Hushbringer. Yeah, that could be a sideboard card against Black. Against Grey Merchant could bring definitely play Hushbringer. That's a good call. this hand we'll still duress turn one because we have so many two drops that you know if we top deck the two drop we want to play it on turn two so we'll duress turn one even though it's it's kind of better to save duress because you know like you're only looking at these seven cards but if you wait one turn then you're looking at eight cards because you know like they just play their land and that's it and then you know you get you get another card you have you have more information about their hand and everything you get another choice i oh, love you too chloroform yeah the owl does change color yep clicking on this thing we have like a, a gold and purple we have like silver or gray and red and then black and also red and kind of greenish. <laughs> Friendship ended with Fox. Al is my new best friend. Fox is pretty cool too. Rack rack. The, the fox kind of barks. Do foxes bark? Do IRL foxes bark? Foxes screech? The yodel? A yelp, but it's a bark. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of asking what the fox says. So yeah, I think that's going to be one of the channel point rewards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set it up where you can trade in a bunch of channel points, and, you can, and I'll change the pet for a match. Maybe do it where you change the sleeves. 
Avatar. How should we rank those like points wise? Sleeves is probably most expensive, and then Avatar, and then like Pet the least expensive. Yeah, they fixed our our fire and ice, the sword of fire and ice sleeves. So they actually work now. Look cool. Yeah, these sleeves were, were given out um, if you played in a paper tournament or played in a paper store event. Yeah, just had connection issues today. It's unfortunate. I really liked this hand, and I really wanted to try this. Um, you know, we haven't been able to play this Phoenix yet, and so I wanted to try, you know, Duress and then into Double Phoenix and just see how powerful the Phoenix was. I really wanted to play this hand. Seems like they're, like, am I disconnected or something? Like, should their time have run out already? Maybe I disconnected. Yeah, I'll alt F4. Yeah, there, we've had server problems today. That's what everybody's been saying. Yes, the escape, yeah, escape cards do have a really cool animation with, like, the graveyard, like, breaking out kind of thing. Yeah, the escape looks, looks pretty sweet. Man, I really liked that hand. Ugh. I really liked that hand. Hey, yeah, okay. You wanna keep sitting down there? You wanna come up here, say hi to everybody? No, you're gonna keep sitting down there? Okay. Yeah, no, that hand only lives in our memories now. That's a good call. Oh, such a such a cool hand. All right, got to restart again. Got to hit him with that double restart, Hawkeye. Okay. There's Hawkeye. Okay. Look at him. That's you. All right, well, we're back. Did we win? We won. Yay. We're two and one. All right, two and one. That's what the record says. Ugh. Man, one creature this hand would be crazy. Yeah, we won by keeping such a good hand. Oh man, double planes? Ugh. Yeah, you know, we're just playing a game of poker. Better hand wins. I don't want to go to five, but I don't want to keep this hand either. Yeah, I mean, our, our man is just pretty tough. There's not... You know, besides putting in like a bunch of temples, there's not like really a, a great way to make our mana better. Okay. Oh, 
this is just acting really buggy. I put the cards back. Maybe I could keep them all. What is going on? I didn't have like problems all day until these last two matches now. I have problems all day. Is this your fault, Hawkeye? Are you saying, I want to be fed? I'm going to mess up your game. That doesn't help. Maybe it did help. Uh, it's definitely not Hawkeye's fault. Hawkeye's the best. Okay, maybe that didn't actually help. <laughs> to see the owl celebrating. Oh, this is the same. Yeah, this is the same opponent we lost to a little bit ago. Yeah, this is the same opponent we that our one loss is to. I need to just fire those things off earlier. Alright, I mean, this is... <clears throat> if I would have just played... I could have dealt another like four damage, so I would have played those earlier. Yeah. Yeah, this is just a really tough matchup for us. They they are very good against aggro. Um Do I just try Phoenix of Ash and Elspeth? Maybe we do. I don't think Fling's just... I'm not convinced Fling is good ever. Hmm. Shock doesn't kill any of their stuff. Everything's an X3. Or bigger. Which is annoying. All right, let's try this. Yeah, like, for Fling to be good, you have to have, like, 
two other red sources and two pump spells, and then also fling. So you have to have like triple red. It just seems kind of impossible to ever pull that off. This is a good hand. What am I putting back? I don't really want to put the Phoenix back. It's just the Arcanist. You know, Arcanist can recast her ass. It's still just a 1 3. this Phoenix of Ash in play right now. <laughs> yeah, like... I don't know, I guess we're dead now. <laughs> we can't get through any of these cards. And I could attack with Knight, they block with the 1-3, then I kill it, but they just get another 1-3 back. It makes, basically, that makes jump blocking good forever. Also a 1-3. Talk about a deck that our deck does not match up well against. Here you go. Alright, all I need, I need a Lava Coil or Revoke Existence. I need one of those two, and I need to get rid of this 4-4 flyer. We can draw a Lava Coil or, or Revoke Existence and get rid of that. We have a chance. Okay. We have a chance. Get rid of that. No, no, I haven't moved yet. Um, probably doing that in less than a month. I'm in the process of getting the house all, all close and everything that I'm purchasing. But the goal is to have it closed by the end of the month and then move shortly after. Go, Phoenix, go. This looks like a fun new toy. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Wish I could kill this Dreadhorde Butcher somehow. God's really doesn't do anything to stop this. You can't you can't protect your creature. I was about to be able to like 
God's willing, this thing. No, because I couldn't. They had two different colors of blockers. Yep, that was a massacre. Oh no. Yeah. Hawkeye, I feel you. I feel you, Hawkeye. It's exactly what I'm thinking too. So I dealt the one damage to the Liliana, so that the Liliana wasn't going to be ultimating like the very next turn. Good looking deck for the opponent. I'm. I think there's there is just a lot of good enchantment stuff in the set. I'm kind of I'm not sure about white. And also, do they have like they're playing Myers Grass? Do they have Othakaya? Othakaya seems perfect. Good help I'm not sure if they have Othakaya or not, but that reward. definitely looks perfect. Well, if we would if we would draw infuriate, we would be able to like God's willing this pro black and infuriate, and and activate. And we could do seven. That would have been cool. But we didn't. That's that's a really tough matchup. Yeah, Abzan. They don't have any bad cards. So Abzan, no bad cards. Against aggro. Against our deck. You know, like, just two mana, one threes. Um, so yeah, mana, you know, like this is, this is an all in deck and sometimes it's going to work really well and we kill our opponent really fast, which happens sometimes. Like we had that one game, like one game, even against that same deck where they like, remember we had that, that first game that we played against them where they went. Turn two, one three, turn three, banishing light, and then they were dead before they got another turn. And that's it. That's those are the only two like that's all they those are like the only turns they got. So um if if the deck works, it can do that kind of stuff. It's just it's not gonna work too often. Three colors when you're playing ag like aggro and trying to be like super aggressive like this, it's really hard to play three colors, to be honest. It just doesn't really it just doesn't really work mana wise. It's it's just so difficult. Um. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Dawn of no Dawn of Hope is just way too slow. I I like Elspeth. Um, could also go with like Gideon, like if for for like a for just a, a different cyborg plan, but um against against like control decks it's it's those kind of creature decks though are, are going to be just super hard to beat to be honest like the def the defensive creature decks are going to be like even the, the hardest things because you can have like anti-control cards but having anti-defensive creature cards that's pretty tough you basically just need like a fast start and a, and good time uh, well-timed removal but if you stumble at all it's really difficult
Yeah, could 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 switch to Boros and not play Dreadhorde Butcher. Um Yeah, can just go Boros. You know, Boros, if you go a little bit bigger, you have, you know, Tajik and you know, you can just play Hushbringer and Tajik and Bone Crusher Giant. You know, like Stomp looked really bad if we had like Bone Crusher Giant. Um you know, I had the I had the Boros deck that I liked. That this is a bigger deck, and you know this this deck is is like a, a frenzy deck. But I liked this deck a lot. Um, last format, this is a, a good Hushbringer deck. Had some good success with this, um, which is just an aggro. Obviously, it's just completely different. It's not like the all in thing. Um, oh yeah, Merriment. Merriment's a good. Forgot about Merriment. That's a good uh, other <clears throat> like anti control, anti sweeper card. Yeah. So I know I know that was like the whole point it was like the the butcher thing. But yeah, you basically need a miracle. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to stay all in, um honestly if you want to stay all in, it's probably red. Like just going mono red. Like I think that's that's the way to go is just mono red. Um Like like there was now that I think about it, there was a like a pretty similar mono red deck doing pretty well online let me see if i get yeah like this list which i'll put in in chat whoops and i'll put it up on here It's, I mean, it's, it's kind of the same kind of thing, right? Like you got, you got infuriate, um, basically it's the infuriate. You steal their thing with claim the firstborn, but Embercleave. I think Embercleave is kind of what we're missing. And our mana, our mana was too difficult to be playing Embercleave, but this is like really what you need. You know, you, you need double strike trample. Like this is just the card that we needed. And then also, you know, infuriate for it. So you could kind of go with this and then you could kind of take like this shell also, if you want to make it like red white, if you want to play God's Willing, um, and more red pump spells, you can kind of do that and kind of work from here. You know, kind of maybe trimming like uh, like some of these creatures and everything. Um, but this is going to be a lot more consistent because you're not you know you're not going to have like mana problems when you're when everything is the same color. And when you're when you need to play like when you need to curve out and you need your one two three like your turn one turn two and turn three you need your mana to work perfectly because you need to curve out in front of your opponents going down to the least number of colors possible is is great and that's why going down to one one color you're just always going to consistently play mountain and play the stuff shadow spear is definitely a consideration yeah yeah shadow spear that's that's certainly a consideration yeah getting that getting the trample lifelink that card's pretty good. Um, that card's pretty good. So yeah, so there we go. Oh yeah, title. Oh yeah, I forgot to update the t the title with the new one, the new deck. But anyway, there we go. So there's there's some other options, um, other things to kind of think about. Um, but yeah, so there's our our Mardu butcher deck all in those y'all on youtube if you're uh watching this on youtube if you have a pump spell deck like this if you're playing like a, a pump spell deck a bunch of pump spells and vindicator or butcher either one uh let me know in the comments you know let, let me know what you're doing with that and how it's going for you um but that's that's it here from Marty butcher so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video